That's right, guys. The parents got a great game on Parents Weekend. With all that scoring, not surprisingly, both teams amassed over 500 total offensive yards. There was also a lot of yellow on the field throughout the game, courtesy of the referees who threw 32 flags for 276 total penalty yards on the day. The sportsman was there to catch all the record-setting action. Crowd of over 7,000 students and parents on Parents Weekend for the annual Mid America Classic were treated to a thrilling matchup between the Redbirds and Eastern Illinois Panthers. After an early score by Eastern and a pick six by the Redbirds, Matt Brown will begin his record-breaking day by finding Neblick here for the 19-yard strike to give the Birds their first lead of the day. Eastern wouldn't go down easily though, as they would score six touchdowns of their own throughout the day, putting the Birds down by as much as 10, including holding that lead in the fourth quarter. The Birds were determined to give the capacity crowd a victory, though. Brown looked great through the air, but also tied a career high with two rushing touchdowns in the day. But on top of setting personal records, Brown also set ISU records for completions with 42, as well as yards after throwing for 473. Brown was responsible for seven total touchdowns when all said and done. The Birds were penalized 22 times for 173 yards, which helped bring the game to two overtimes, but Brown would connect with fellow senior Tyrone Walker here to finally put the W in ISU's column. With the excess of penalties, it wasn't the prettiest win for ISU, but Coach Speck is just happy with the team's will to win. You, know, you kind of uh, come to play every, every Saturday and you play with a big alert. I thought the players did that. They found a way to win. Uh, you have to find a way to win sometimes when you're not playing at your very best. And that's why I told our team, you know, you, uh, you know it's important that you, uh, that you find a way to win. So it was a record-setting day for Matt Brown and the Redbirds. The Birds also had a tough week as well in the honor situation. Owen, tell us about the most recent accomplishments. Yeah, Joe. Uh, junior defensive end Colton Underwood has been named the Missouri Valley Football Conference's Defensive Player of the Week. Underwood recorded a career-high 13 tackles and three sacks in the win, and it was the first time he won this award in his career. On another quick note, uh, the Birds started the season with three consecutive wins. That's the first time they've done that since 1991.